This is Callan with JB Racing. Today we're going to be doing some talking about some machining of the an aftermarket distributor housing for Porsche 911s. Um, I've got three sections here of a turned, machined, and tumbled. If you don't know what an ignition distributor is, you've got a cap on the top, spark plug wires that plug to this, from this to the spark plug, and this distributes the spark to each cylinder to make the engine fire. Um, this is an aftermarket replacement of the original, which are hard to find, next to impossible to, to get, because um, it's just so old. So this is an aftermarket replacement of those. The addition is you can have two plugs per cylinder or one plug per cylinder. That's a, something that this can do that a stock one can't do. All right, these are the three, I don't want to say processes, but the three different steps through the process. Um, one in front of this that I don't have is the full raw blank. So this to this point here is turned on the lathe. Uh, it has two sides that get turned. Um, makes a lot of chips over here. Um, and this is ready to go into the fixture. This to, to be milled. This is out of the milling fixture. Um, it's engraved. Uh, all the holes are tapped and chamfered. Uh, we've got our drain holes, deburred. Um, ready to go into the tumbler. From the tumbler, this will get uh, anodized, clear anodized, and then it gets fully assembled and tested and then um, would ship out to you with the full kit. Um, this is the 2025 version, and there's really not a lot different over years past. We just made some cosmetic changes. We've moved to a new fixture uh, so it allowed us to do some more things that couldn't really do with the old fixture. Um, so to kind of compare, here is an old one. There's a couple really easy ones to tell. Um, there, there isn't a date code on these at all, so it's just this is now. We know when this was done um, to when the old one. But to kind of compare, that the, we changed the logo just a little bit. Uh, the, all the letters are the same height, and they're centered in the, in the pad here instead of being, we'll get a close up of that later. Um, we just, it looks a little more, a little, little better um, than kind of falling off the edges. Uh, the other setup that was we had was really difficult to get in here and really engrave and get stuff centered up. It just, the fixture just didn't, didn't allow it. Um, it's now coming out of the machine. This hole is fully deburred. This slot down here is fully deburred both sides, uh, the inside of where the plug, where the, uh, there's some internal stuff and there's some wires that come out of here and it gets a grommet. This hole is now deburred on the inside. The years past, it would have to come out and get deburred by hand. Uh, so it's just, it's just done. Um, we are boring this hole with the eighth inch end mill instead of drilling and tapping, or instead of just drilling. And if you can see down in the middle, um, there's uh, some burrs down in there from when they drill the holes uh, to now we're boring it and there's no burrs that we have to get in there and get cleaned out because this gets a, a brass bearing a bushing it gets pressed in here and when those burrs are in there you've got to get them cleaned out so that the shaft goes through there and it becomes a can be kind of a nightmare. Um, the other thing that's kind of the obvious when you look at it is uh, Everything has this big dovetail chamfer on the back. Um, there, on the old one, there was one spot right here that we used it where it says Z1 top. It was just the only spot we did that on, and now we decided to do it on the whole thing. And it looks pretty sweet, having that all the way across there. It just kind of elevates the, the shape of the part now. Um, everything on the top, engravings all the same still. Uh, there's really not much more cosmetic that's different. Uh, everything on the shape is exactly the same. ID is the same, same, all that stuff. Um, so when it comes out of the machine, it's fully machined here. Uh, it goes in our tumbler and we tumble it for anywhere from an hour to two hours. Um, and it comes out like this and it gets everything that has some chamfers on it, like this top edge. It just softens the edges a little bit more and blends some stuff out. And it just, 
if you've been around machine parts enough a lot, if you have, and you just kind of, there's a feel. When you grab onto something, you don't want to have a sharp edge or a, not really sharp, just something that kind of grabs at the skin. This round over edges, it just feels good in the hand. And when you're working on stuff, you don't want to have, it's already sharp stuff everywhere, so let's not add razor edges to when you're in the, and you're working on stuff. This is just nice and soft and, you know, it doesn't, doesn't cut the arm when you're dragging your arm next to it. It works really good. It looks nice. Um, from this, this tumble finish, it'll get clear anodized. Um, and then there's some, some dimples on the top that are for clockwise rotation or counterclockwise rotation. And there's some other stuff in here. And these, these little dimples will get colored dots. And it's, I don't remember exactly the colors. Um, they color dots in there and they mean certain rotations and there's different part numbers for which way it rotates. Um, there is two different body styles. There is a, this is, we call this the large bore and there's a smaller one that's a smaller, uh, smaller shaft here for a different year models of engine. Uh, still 911, just different models. Um, this, this would replace um, your stock distributor housing that uh, you just can't get parts for, um, you've decided to go race with it, um, and you want to have something that you can easily service and get parts for, um, or you want to save that good one for the, the restoration, you want to have an original over there, or you, you just want to have something new that's serviceable. Um, so that's what this does, it replaces some of that. The fixture that some of the stuff was on, these early ones, so we went from two parts per cycle to four parts per cycle. Um, this is the two plug or the two part fixture. And the stuff would fit, would fit in here like this. Uh, it's really tight in here. This fixture, I don't know, I don't remember the date on it, but it's probably 15 plus years old. It's done lots of fix, lots of parts. It's been great for a long, long, long time. Um, but we decided to do some of these changes and the fixture needed to be changed to do those changes. So we made a new fixture and decided to do four parts this time instead of the two. Um, the fixtures in the machine here, we can kind of show you in a second what, the, what that looks like. But for the most part, that new fixture kind of mounts, grabs on the bottom here, and it's in this area like that. So you have all of this sticking up out of the hole like that. So you got plenty of room to get around in here to do all that, to do the the more engraving, got plenty of room to engrave over this, get in here and deburr this hole, just a little bit more room to be able to do some of the things we wanted to change. This is our new four part setup. Four parts loaded in here, loading in this direction, fully loaded in, fully seated. So now we have all this room to get in here and do more cleanup and uh, engraving and get that backside nice and chamfered. Uh, this is on a fifth axis. So we can tip this thing over that way and, and, and rotate and really get right where we need to do some of those engravings and the deburring of the fixture of the part. We made this fixture um, here in the in, in shop and in house. Uh, turn this stuff on our lathe. Uh, this was probably a day and a half worth of stuff to get to this point here. Um, to then be able to put parts in and then make the programs and update the programs and, and start running the part. It, four parts is about an hour and a quarter from start to finish. And there, we're probing each hole in each part. There's some optimizing that we could do to get it down, but it's a solid, solid program that pretty much runs by itself, to, checks the tool, it monitors all the stuff, and it's, it's pretty much running by itself for an hour and a quarter. And then we take four parts out, which is pretty sweet. And you take them out, and they're deeper, they're happy, they're, they're great. Um, this is a f one, two, four, f what is that? Six part? Yeah, six parts. Uh, for this fixture, we've got four of these clamps, top plate, and a big piece here in the middle. And there is four pull studs in the bottom. So this piece, we can take this clamp loose, this bolt loose here, and this whole thing comes up off this black plate. And we swap it out for other things. Um, the two sizes of distributors, we have a 3D printed little 
piece that goes in here that jumps down the size for the smaller ones. Um, but for the most part, everything else is exactly the same, same fixture, same setups. All right, let's get these four loaded up in here. The program is about an hour and 20 minutes and let's see how they look when they come out. We got our four out of the machine. Uh, we're going to deburr. We got a couple holes to deburr first. Uh, everything in the machine is deburred already. Uh, hole wise, these slots are deburred. The only ones that aren't are these drain holes in the bottom and the two tapped holes here. There's just not a way to get them deburred easily. This is in the fixture. So we'll go ahead and deburr those real quick. From here, after these are deburred and washed, we'll rinse these off and they will go in the in the tumbler for two hours and then they go out for anodizing after that and then come back for assembly and then out to customers. Okay, that's all deburred and clean. Uh, we've got our drain hole deburred. Our two tapped holes are deburred. This other tapped hole is deburred in the in the milling process, so it's all good to go. Um, but you can see it's got coolant in there. It'll get rinsed off and washed, and then it gets tumbled and it'll get anodized. It looks really good. I don't see anything that I would change or tweak. Looks pretty happy. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you would like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.